six week 17 matchup we have the san francisco 49ers taking on the seattle seahawks now before i continue on make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends co-workers acquaintances family members because it helps the channel grow and I upload NFL videos and college football videos daily. So the 49ers are coming into this game looking to clinch home field advantage for the NFC playoffs. Coming into this game 12-3. and They're going to be on the road facing the Seattle Seahawks who are coming into this game 11-4. and Now, this game has home field advantage implications. Seattle, if they win this game, they put themselves in a good spot of trying to have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And if the 49ers win this game, then they clinch home for the bench throughout the playoffs. So this game has home for the bench implications. Now, for the Seattle Seahawks, they recently signed Robert Turbin and Marshawn Lynch due to the injuries they suffered at halfback. Um, you got C.J. Carson, who's done for the season. And they also have C.J. Procise, who ended up suffering an injury as well. That's going to keep him sidelined for a couple of weeks. Now, for the Seattle Seahawks, Yes, you got Robert Turbin, and yes, you got Marshawn Lynch, but that's still really a big question mark going into this game because the running game has been so pivotal to Seattle's success this season. So, Marshawn Lynch, we don't really know the end game shape that he's in. Even though Marshawn Lynch is in great condition to play, he still hasn't played organized football in a couple of months. So it's still going to take some getting used to him, getting used to the workload, getting used to the carries and things like that. And Robert Turbin, he's in. So against the San Francisco 49ers, you're looking at chops right now, right? Because you're looking at a Seattle Seahawks team that's most likely going to end up struggling to run the football. And they're going to have to end up throwing the football to beat you. And that plays towards the 49ers strength. And the strength of the 49ers defense is the ability to stop the pass. Now, another bonus for the 49ers is that you potentially might have Quan Alexander suit up for this game. And if he doesn't suit up, he will be back in the playoffs. Now, if Quan Alexander plays in this game, that is an absolute big bonus because Quan Alexander, his speed is going to be able to keep Russell Wilson at bay and kind of try to neutralize that scrambling ability of Russell Wilson. But most likely, this game is going to come down for Seattle. Can they have success throwing the football on this 49ers defense? Now, that last matchup that we saw, Russell Wilson had a pretty okay day. Now... For the 49ers on the offensive side of the ball, can they run the football effectively? And can Jimmy Garoppolo keep up his hot streak? Because Jimmy Garoppolo, low-key, it might be a little bit too late. But if the NFL season was two weeks or three weeks longer, Jimmy Garoppolo might have just played himself into the MVP discussion. With the way he's been playing over the last couple of weeks, Jimmy Garoppolo, ladies and gentlemen, was a quarterback who was getting a lot of criticism. Well, not a lot of criticism, but still had a lot of his doubters. Still had a lot of people who were skeptical about Jimmy Garoppolo and his ability to get this team to that next level. And over the last couple of weeks, Jimmy Garoppolo has played very, very well. So, the 49ers, you got that rushing attack with that four-headed trio that they have at a half that position. We know they can run the football. And we know Jimmy Garoppolo has played very good. But the question is, the Seattle Seahawks defense has also picked it up over the last um, couple of weeks when it comes. Well, I won't say they really have turned it on, but the Seattle Seahawks defense, for the most part, has been a pretty okay unit. They haven't been great, but they haven't been terrible neither. So, coming into this game, what I'm looking at is, I want to see who can end up making turnovers. Because I think turnovers is going to be a big part in the factor in who ends up winning this game. You also take into the fact that Seattle is at home, but Seattle doesn't really have a great home record like they have had in the past. They're actually much better on the road than they are at home. So the home for the fans, of course, is going to be there is at Seattle. Anytime you play Seattle, the fans, the crowd noise, the atmosphere, the weather is going to be something to factor into it. But the 49ers, last time they played, they almost won, but they lost due to a missed field goal. So for the 49ers, they need to win this game and try to lock out that home for the advantage. Now, the 49ers up front, I think the 49ers up front can really push this Seattle Seahawks deep to the line backwards and have a lot of success running the football like how they have been having a la the last couple of se well the last couple of weeks and like how they have been over the last stretch of the season. This is one of the best running football teams in all of the NFL. 
And for Seattle, can they stop the running game and get pressure on Jimmy Garoppolo? And for the Seattle Seahawks, what their, what their biggest question mark going into this game is on the offensive side of the ball is, how much of a running game are you going to have going into this game? Because I think Seattle's coaching staff knows pretty well that they're not going to come in here. They're not going to run the football up and down the throats of the 49ers. The question is, can they just have a little production that they're not overly reliant on the passing game and Russell Wilson to win this game? Because, listen, if Seattle has to throw the ball 40 times to win this game, I don't think they're going to have a good chance of winning this game because uh, when you look at the strength of the San Francisco 49ers defense, it's built to stop the pass. Richard Sherman has played like an all-pro this year. Nick Bosa looks like he could end up being a defensive rookie of the year and potentially defensive player of the year. So, I mean, you got a lot of factors factoring into this game for the Seattle Seahawks offense. So, the question being is, can they have success around the football? Now, a positive if you're Seattle, although you do, you have brought in two new halfbacks, is that the 49ers haven't really been that good at stopping the run over this past season. They've been pretty much average or below average in that department when it comes to being able to stop the run. So if you're Seattle, yes, is the opportunity there to have success around the football? Yes, it is. But the question is, can you run the football effectively? That's the question. It's not so of can Seattle run the football. Yes, they can run the football, but can they do it so in an effective manner? That's the question. So the team that I'm really taking to win this game, um, let's see. The 49ers, Seattle, right? So Seattle is 11-4 right now. Seattle Offense, for the most part, has been pretty good. The wide receiving core of DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett has been pretty formidable. Russell Wilson has been looking like an MVP season for most of the entire year. And you got San Francisco. I already talked about San Francisco. I talked about how good they are on the defense side of the ball. I talked about their offense, right? Now, for San Francisco, if you're able to stop the run game and you put pressure on Russell Wilson to win this game, I'm going to take the 49ers. If Seattle cannot run the football effectively, I'm taking the San Francisco 49ers to win this game. Because Seattle's offense, although it has been good, this offensive line has benefited from the fact that they have a rushing attack. And if you sit back and you're going to ask Russell Wilson to go back there and throw the football 40 times on this 49ers defense, then I think you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going to play round to the San Francisco 49ers strength of their team with their ability to stop the pass attack and get after the quarterback with D Ford, D Ford's Buckner, and Nick Bosa. So the 49ers, really, they have all the factors weighing in their favor and able to win this game. Now for Seattle... What they need to be able to do to win this game, really, um, they need to be able to run the football some way, somehow, even if it's not with the halfbacks. Use some design, use some design quarterback runs to get Russell Wilson out in the open field and have him contribute to the running game as well. But for Seattle to win this game, I think it's really pivotal that um, they have a good rushing attack and pretty much most of their rushing attack. And my estimate is probably going to come from Russell Wilson. So Russell Wilson's ability to extend plays and get in involved on a couple of design quarterback runs is going to be able to help Seattle run the football. Because this is a 49ers defense that isn't really that good to stop the run. Now what the 49ers pretty much need to be able to do to win this game is keep Russell Wilson in the pocket, which is easier said than done because he's basically Houdini back there, and get pressure on Russell Wilson. Stop this rushing attack completely. Because you know Seattle's going to try to run the football. They're going to try to fill it out, and if they can't run the football, then they're most likely going to rely heavily on a passing attack. So if that happens, I'm going to take the 49ers to win that game. So if you're the 49ers and you're Robert Sala, the defensive coordinator for the 49ers, you need to be able to stop the run and put pressure on this Seattle Seahawks offense to beat you throwing the football down the field. Now, yes, I'm not saying that Seattle doesn't have the playmakers. I'm not saying that Seattle doesn't have the talent to have success throwing the football to the 49ers. I'm just saying that the strength of this 49ers team is their ability to stop the pass. So if you have to pass the football, you're playing into the strength of this 49ers defense. So the team I'm going to win this game, I'm going to take the 49ers to win this game. It's just no way you can convince me that the Seattle Seahawks bringing in, yes, they brought in Marshawn Lynch, they brought, they brought in Robert Turbin. I still don't think Seattle is going to have enough of a rushing attack and able to win this game because a big part of Seattle's success this season has been their ability to run the football without 
their halfback CJ Pro size and um Chris Carson. I don't think Seattle's gonna be able to come in here and run the football effectively. And I think they're gonna have to be over reliant on the passing game. And I think that's gonna play into the strength of this 49ers defense in the secondary and this passing unit. And I think the 49ers are gonna end up winning this game. So let me know who you guys have winning this game down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content and thanks for watching.